drip and tea. I ha am going to show you um, the way to use a VLOOKUP formula. It's very fast and very helpful when you're trying to compare two lists of data. So right, right now I have a list of data over here and then over here I have um, a list of our part numbers and whether they're active or discontinued. And I'm trying to check to see if the list here on the left and A and B, whether these items are active or, or discontinued, these products. So what I'm gonna do is, first I'm gonna make it bigger so you can see it. And I'm gonna put in an equal sign and I'm gonna use the vertical lookup. It's called a V lookup. Um, it will automatically tell you once you select it what all you need in it. So first thing you need is a search key. We're gonna be searching on this part number, so I'm gonna click that um, cell. I put my comma. Now it's telling you to pick the range. We're gonna pick a range over here, um, I to J, and I'm gonna highlight that, and then I'm gonna do a command shift down arrow, and it's gonna pick up the whole column for me. Put another comma, and that's going to go back to the index. Index means which of these columns do you want it to report back to you in column D. So I want it to show if it's active or discontinued. So I'm going to put, these are two columns, so that's the second column, so we're going to put a two. We're going to do a comma, and then is sorted. and this is sorted. Um, I'm not really sure when it's not sorted. So what I have always used false here, which is what they want you to use. Okay, so do in this situation anyway. So you're going to do a closed parentheses. Now I want it, I'm going to sort, I'm going to pull this formula all the way down that first column, that this column D and I want it to change to A3, A4, A5, so I'm gonna leave that alone. However, when I want it to look, I want it to look at this range, I to J, so I want it to look for I1 to J400. So in order for it to not keep moving that down, you're gonna put a dollar sign in front of the I, in front of the column, and in front of the row. So we're gonna put in front of I, and 1 and J and 400. Okay, now we're going to hit enter and that's going to return our answer. It's going to, it's suggesting that I want an autofill. So I'm going to hit the check mark saying, yep, go ahead and autofill it. And now it's automatically telling me which of these items are active and which of these items are discontinued without me having to sort back and forth manually. Um, it just makes everything a lot quicker. Improving today for a better tomorrow.